Welcome to a new video update about Dutch contracting company Tenhover, where we'll be focusing on jobs that took place last autumn. Grass silage was made until late in the season, and the forage maize harvest progressed quickly under good conditions. Roadside and ditch maintenance is another important job that we'll show you. In the municipal branch, more interesting jobs were carried out. We show you how a new farmyard is paved with tarmac and the process of renewing a local road that Tenhover was involved in. Before winter arrives, all ditches have to be mown, which will aid the water transporting capacity. Tenhover has two modified fent tractors with herder ditch arm mowers for this task. Here, roadside ditches are mowed using a flail mower in the city of Leilestad. Tenhover carries this work out for the city council, but work is also carried out for other organisations and farmers, of course. Oh. Notice the relocated Vario terminal for an unobstructed view on the mowing arm, which is controlled using a single joystick and foot pedal. The flail head doesn't have any trouble with the reeds that are over two meters high, doing a good job of cleaning this ditch. Operator Frake uses an app which shows his location and which parts of the ditch network need mowing. Grass and clover silage is also being mown today for a goat farmer. Yakko is using the Chrome Big M420. With its 9.5 meter working width that can cover a lot of acres in a short time. The self-propelled mower is steered by RTK GPS for maximum accuracy and capacity. Yakko is merging the crop partially, so it won't dry out too quickly in the autumn sun, as it needs to be baled at just the right dry matter content. In the previous video, which you can watch on our YouTube channel, we showed you how silage silos were constructed. This time we focus on the renewal of a whole farmyard, for which the large infrastructure specialist Von Helder is hired in with their equipment and staff. A road paver and tandem roller is used to cover and consolidate two layers of tarmac. First an underlayer, followed by a top layer to finish it off. Handwork is required to finish off the job around the brand new crop storage building and one of the Hitachi Zaxxis mobile excavators from Tenhover is lending a hand. Hot tarmac is brought to the farm from a nearby factory. Because the product has to be at the right temperature, this is a tightly controlled process. As the dairy cows are enjoying their breakfast on this farm, the Ten Hover team arrives to harvest and clamp a cut of grass silage. Uh -huh. 
as both forage harvesters are busy with the maize harvest at this time of year, a third machine is hired in from forager specialist Westerlink Machinery. In this case, a class Jaguar 870 Green Eye. Two Fence 718 Vario tractors and Stroutman forage wagons are used for transportation. Once again, showing the versatility of these trailers that are very popular with contractors in the Netherlands. The L. Youngby loading shovel with Hilaris grass attachment is also present today on the clamp. Due to a dry summer, less grass grew in Holland this year. But a fine autumn with some welcome rain and high temperatures allowed for at least two more cuts of grass to be taken from the fields in September, October and November. this scene in the flavour polder and move towards the east where forage maize is being harvested today. The Crone Big X650 should be a familiar machine by now and it is still going strong during its 14th harvest. These older machines use a Fent armrest and joystick, which is much appreciated at 10 Hover, as you can imagine. Two tractors are carting here today, the new Fent 724 Generation 6 and the Fent 718, both with Coeco silage trailers. Their driven axles were not needed on these fields and conditions were mostly very good throughout the maize harvest this year. After a dry year as 2022 was, crop yields suffered in a lot of places. This was a good crop of maize grown on some heavier land. Sandy soils often weren't so lucky and frequent irrigation was needed. On the clamp, a Fent 933 Vario is pushing up the loads of maize using a homemade attachment. In the front linkage is a Hilaris silage compactor. All the air has to be pushed out of the clamp for the fermentation process. If this is not carried out properly, moulds can quickly develop, making this valuable feed useless. In total, this combination weighs over 19.5 tonnes to allow for good compaction of the crop. And now for something completely different. Here, a side paver is being used 
together with the loading shovel to fill the road shoulder with sand after new drainage was put in. The machine is powered by its own engine and the loading shovel gently pushes the trucks forward that tip sand into the hopper. A second operator can control the conveyor belt for an even distribution of the material. The same machine will be used again later to fill the shoulder with gravel before it is paved. Using the side paver is much quicker than using a digger. We stay in the same location where afterwards the old tarmac surface is removed using the Vertgen W210 FI milling machine. This work is carried out by a specialist company and Ten Hover is supplying the tractors and dump trains to transport the road plannings. For this demanding task the machine is powered by a 755 horsepower engine and it weighs 27 tonnes. tractors are at work here today. A fourth is employed with a road brush to clean the surface which will be repaved with new asphalt in due course. The road plannings are stored in a central heap where they'll be removed later. The El Young Bee is present as well today. We have come to the end of this video and season 2022 for Ten Hover Contracting. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more videos coming to this YouTube channel very soon. We hope to show you more of Ten Hover in 2023 and bring you all the sights and sounds of a Dutch contracting company. Thank you for watching and goodbye.